right, welcome back. And today we are going to be taking a look at the Netflix original series, Masters of the Universe Revelations, Masterverse, Man at Arms. Now here he is in all his glory. I really like this figure. This guy's cool. But before we get into this guy, please like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment down below. Now, but that's out of the way. Let's take a look at some of his accessories. So I'm just going to move this guy back a little bit. And let's take a look at what he comes with. So he comes with, what, six pairs of hands. So you have the two that are already on him. And then we have two fist hands, one without armor on the back of the hand, and one with armor on the back of the hand. Then he comes with one open hand, just like the one that's on there with armor, though this one has no armor on the back. The one that's on him does. And then you have another gripping hand, which actually has the armor on the back of the hand. And then he comes with his large mace weapon. This guy's, <clears throat> this is cool. This is kind of like a throwback to the um, 2000X series. This mace is and how big it was in that um, cartoon. I know the Filmation Man-at-Arms had the mace, but it wasn't this big and it didn't have the studs going around the side. But as you can see, this guy is just, this thing is just casted in orange plastic. You have all the little details here, which is really nice. That's it. So let's get into this guy really quick. So with this Man-at-Arms here, I'll try and zoom in a little bit. All right, so I think I've zoomed in just a little too much. Try and zoom back out. All right. So with the paint apps on this guy, I have to say they are very well done. This is one of the Masterverse figures, I have to say. It is, is one of the hardest ones to find, first off. Second of all, all the others are kind of Disney-esque looking the features are kind of cartoony the only other one excuse me that um i find besides this man at arms that is not a disney-esque looking character is faker but as you can see the paint apps going on the helmet on this orange going around is very nice the paint apps on the eyes very well done the whole facial expression the the head sculpt is beautiful just beautifully done. You have his armor, which is a soft rubber. They actually included the fur. All this is all just casted in orange, besides the red right here on the arm. Going down to the hand with the armor on the back, or, you know, the gauntlet on the back of the hand. His belt, I wanted to get into the belt. So, you know, they all come with this standard belt, so to speak, with the, you know, fuzzy shorts. But he has a red jewel, which also on the palace guard, if you guys hadn't seen that review, go check out that review. He also has a red jewel on that palace guard. On the original one, he does not. The original man in arms, I don't remember him having a red jewel on his belt. If he did, well, somebody will let me know. Or somebody please let me know. Now moving down the legs on the, as far as paint, sculpt, the fur of the boots is very well done. Another bit of armor that's just casted in orange. They put a little bit of a green strap going on the back along with some brushing, which is really nice. So they actually paid attention to a little bit of detail. I will say that this is this has got to be one of the best Revelations figures I have seen that's out there. He-Man doesn't look this way. Skeletor doesn't look this way. I don't really care for the Beast Man, and I don't really care for the Tila, but the Faker... He, he was very well done also, but this guy here tops them all. Very well done. He has his gauntlet on his wrist is just right here, which the paint is not slop. It's not slop. It's not slop whatsoever. All right, so enough with the paint. Let's get into articulation. Let me zoom this out a little bit. All right, so as far as articulation, it's his standard revelations articulation, yeah, which is cool because he can actually look up this much. He can look down, of course. 
He has head tilt side to side, very slightly. He can turn his head side to side. He has no ball joints in here whatsoever, but his, none of them, none of them come with ball joints, but his arms can move out that far, which is great. He has, it's supposed to be a double hinge, but mine seems to be stuck right here at this elbow. So I can't get it to bend right there. So I, I only have single joint use out of it right now. I have to heat this up and see if I can actually get that to move better. The arms do push down close to the side, which is great. And on this side here, yeah, this side's the same way. It's just single jointed use. I'm gonna have to heat that up and see if I can get that to move. He has his bicep swivel and the armor is removable, so it will slide off if you want it to, if you want to take it off. Love the fur that they added the fur just like they did in the 2000X version. Um, the original Man in Arms had fur, they just never painted it in. And of course, no hair on the back, like in the vintage. Moving down, he has his ab crunch. He can move back that far, he can move forward that far, which isn't much. And he has a tight waist swivel. Moving down to the lower area, you know, his, his shorts, they are rubber, like a rubbery plastic, soft plastic, so they can be moved. He can do the splits about that much, which most Spider-Man can't even do. And then he has an upper thigh swivel. He has double jointed knees. So that's why I said the arms are gonna have to heat up so you can get the bend. He has a boot swivel. And then as far as his toe articulation, it can rock back that far, rock forward, and then side to side. He has great ankle tilt on this guy. So if you wanna remove the armor, now that we've gone through all the articulation, you want to remove the armor, just pop off the hand, just on a single peg. You know, that's how you're gonna switch out the hands and just slide it off. So you just slide that armor off without having to unplug it. And there you go, now you have man-at-arms without the arm armor on there. I like it, so you do have, let me just go over this real quick you have the same thing on the leg and and this one does not unclip this one will unclip but this one they seem to have glued down on the belt on that armor so that's not coming off uh and i'm not going to attempt to try to take that off let me get this guy to stand up all right so with this armor here it's just like i said cast in plastic it has a little bit of brown on the outside which is great so you have this little peg that pops into the hole right there. You can unpeg this if you want, but what's why when you can just slide it back on? I think you're gonna have a difficulty if you try to pop that off. And oh, I'm holding onto his hand. And then here is his wrist gauntlet. And as you can see, it's just straps. They're just molded, so it slides on. Very, very cool. Just slide this on here and then just push it up on there. And there you go, holds on. Grab his wrist gauntlet. See, if you push down, it's going to pop right off like I just did. So you grab his wrist gauntlet, or forearm gauntlet, I should say, and then just pop his hand back in there. Oh, yeah, I did forget about his wrist articulation. It does swivel and it does bend, well, up and down depending on how you have it, or side to side. And then this side, it doesn't move up and down like you would have with sword, so it's just side to side on, on this arm over here. All right, so... That is my review on Man at Arms Revelations. So let's get into some comparisons. Here he is standing with Origins Evil Lin. As you can see, the height difference in these characters. The Origins are a lot smaller, but as you can see, the Revelations stands very, very tall. But still great figures. Evil Lin's a small, even in Origins, Evil Lin is small. Let's go. Here he is standing with the Lords of Power. Merman, once again, a lot smaller because the origin figures are small, which is, they're two different, uh, um, sorry, I'm, I have a loss for words. Two different types of figures, but still the origins are great. Just a little small, 
If they would have made them in the Revelation size, I think it would have been a little better. Uh, but it is what it is. I'm just putting my input on that one. But here he is with the Merman. Sorry, I don't mean to go on a tangent. Let's get on to the next. We have Faker. As you can see, he is just a little bit taller than Man at Arms. But this is part of the Revelation series. Very nice. Very, very well done. These two are my favorite in this line so far. But Man at Arms still beats out Faker. Bar none. Bar none. And last but not least, what a great comparison. We have the Filmation Man at Arms. Now, looking at this new Revelations compared to the Filmation Man at Arms that's done by Super 7, just want to point this out. Everything's still the same when it comes to the sculpts, except for, you know, this is to the original cartoon, and this is to the Netflix series Revelations, which I know that's what we're looking at. But my point is, is that as you can see, when Super 7 did this guy, this is fabulous. This looks like he just came straight out of the cartoon. That's what I'm saying about this guy here. He looks like he just came straight out of the cartoon as well. Fabulous job. Fabulous job. The armor, the same. A little different with the face shield in the front. But this chest piece doesn't have, you know, these armatures coming up like it does on this one. But still, look at the side armor. Okay, he doesn't have it on this arm. He doesn't have the leg armor. Well, he has the, the t this type of armor on his legs. He doesn't have this kind of armor. This is more of the 2000X series armor. Same thing with the one on the uh, you know on the shoulder and on the forearm here. It's more of the 2000X series along with the fur. Even though the original character you know toy uh, back in the day came with the fur and they just never painted it in. This was what he looked like on the filmation cartoon. I mean the face alone on the t both faces looks like right out of the cartoon right out of the old filmation cartoon fabulous if you guys have this character right here great if not good luck trying to get him because he is kind of pricey and then we come to this guy here and i understand he's hard to find i have not seen him like i said i found him my wife and i went to a uh, actually it was like an antique store and he had some figures in it and that's where we found this guy right place right time that's the only thing i can say but fabulous. See how his mace is just smooth. It's just round. It's just a round mace. This one here, more detail in it with the studs and everything. I like this mace better than this one, but still for this character, that's what he belongs to. As you can see, his belt doesn't have any of the jewels on it and the fur doesn't hang down as far, but that's the way it was back in the day. I mean, what a great, great look at these guys here and to be able to compare the two together I mean historic filmation new I know a lot of people give this series a lot of guff but as far as figures go yeah modern old not I mean I shouldn't say old but this is vintage man in arms from the filmation and this here is the revelations Man in Arms, which is great. I mean, just you can see how he they have changed throughout the years. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making this video. Uh, I know it's kind of short and kind of quick, but what can I say? This is this is um, you know that's that's just a review. That's just the way it goes. Sometimes this guy, you know, there's not really much. Uh, to say when you have such great looking figures they pretty much speak for themselves so guys please like subscribe share i hope you enjoyed this video hopefully it wasn't too lengthy uh and stay tuned for some more videos next to come should be man at arm or not man at arms i apologize uh merman the lords of power version which i use as a comparison in this so be looking forward to that one and i have a few others on the way Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the flip.